Good morning and welcome to today's verse. To God be the glory. What a great day it is today. Today's verse comes to us from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 12 and 13, and it says this. And we urge you, brethren, to recognize those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, be at peace among yourselves. Here, Paul closes his letter to the church in Thessalonica with some very practical instructions on how to maintain a healthy church. In our text, he urges believers to esteem highly, or that is to recognize and respect their spiritual leaders, those who work diligently to guide and to instruct them. They are to do this for three reasons that we notice in our text. First of all, they are to do this not because of the titles that they hold, but rather because of their labor, that is, the work that they do on their behalf. They are to honor and to respect their spiritual leaders because they are over them in the Lord, which speaks to the authority that the Lord has given them within the body. They are to honor and to respect them because their leaders, they admonish them. They admonish the believers. They warn and caution them for their good. As Christians, we ought to value and support our pastors, our elders, and other spiritual leaders within the church because of the work that they do. And because they are servant leaders, there is to be mutual respect between those that have been called to lead and the congregation, thus promoting love and peaceful relationships within the church. You know, I often run into people who say that they believe in God, but they do not believe in organized religion, and therefore they do not go to church. Well, I could run down the rabbit hole and explain why all that is wrong. But I wonder if they have been exposed to a church where our text has not been put into practice. In a world where authority is sometimes, well, often questioned, we as believers are reminded to appreciate the hard work and spiritual care of our leaders, promoting unity and peace and love within the church. See, love, think about this. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon our uh, text today. I pray that you would put it into practice. I pray that you would have a great day. Have a safe day. And then tune in again tomorrow, yeah, as we consider today's verse. Amen.